Hey everyone, so it's exam results day, 4th of July, 2024. The day is here. Oh my God. It's also UK general election day. So it's all been happening today. Popped to the polling station earlier to place my vote, but now we are on to exam results, actuarial exam results. For anyone new here, I'm a student actuary working in London and these results this evening are pretty big because it's my final two exams I need to qualify as an actuary. This is a goal I've been working towards for many, many years now and I sat these final two exams back in April, so I've been waiting for these results for quite a while. They are SP8 General Insurance Pricing Principles and SA3 General Insurance Advanced Principles. So both specialist to the area that I work in, which is general insurance, both really tough, long written exams, but I need to pass both in order to qualify as an actuary and secure my future career prospects and never have to sit an exam again. The dream. But if I fail one or both, I will be resitting later this year and my student journey will continue. Results are released at 6pm on the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries website as usual. I need to log into my account to access my results letter and there will be an F or a P next to each subject on the letter. There's no prize for getting close, it's literally pass fail. My mark needs to be above a set pass threshold that the examiners will have decided. How do I feel? I'm feeling quite anxious, I've been feeling nervous all day. I've been doing okay for the last few months. It's been a long wait since I sat the exams back in April and I just put results to the back of my mind and enjoyed my study-free life. But in the last week, I've started to think about the results a lot more, preparing myself for the worst, I guess, but still hoping for the best. Predictions wise, I'm not sure what to expect. I'm really bad at judging how exams go. I've learned that in the past when getting results. My gut feel is that I didn't write enough for SP8. I ran out of time a little bit. I know I screwed up a few of the calculations questions. And then I felt SA3 went better than SP8. So I guess my prediction is pass SA3, fail SP8. Let's just put ourselves out of our misery and find out how I did. Exams home, exam results April 2024. Okay, so I've got the link that I need to click to get my exam results letter. I don't know if I'm mentally prepared for this. Two Fs is not the end of the world. Two Fs is not the end of the world. One P and one F would actually be quite nice. At least that's one down and one to go. Two Ps would be fantastic, amazing, wonderful. Words couldn't describe how great that would be. Oh my God, there's so much resting on this results day. I don't like it. Come on, everyone cross your fingers with me. Manifest good things. Manifest good things. <sighs> I've just got to click on it. I've just got to click on it. And if I fail, it's okay. Specialist exams. Okay, 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 okay. I passed SA3 but I failed SPA. <sighs> um, do you know that's okay? I'm not leaving today feeling devastated, but I'm not leaving today feeling ecstatic either. I just feel fine because I've passed one fail one. Okay, that's fine. Maybe I'm better at predicting how exams go than I thought I was. I predicted it spot on, passed SA3, failed SP8. And ironically, I did tons of preparation for SP8 and virtually nothing for SA3. It just goes to show sometimes it depends on the day and the paper. So I got 68 for SA3 and 58 for SP8. And normally pass marks are early 60s. I feel I'm disappointed. <laughs> I am disappointed. There was just the shred of hope that I could have done it. Oh God, why didn't I study just a little bit harder? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm so close, so close. The examiner's reports are actually out already, which is very unusual, but it means I can find out what the pass marks were. 
Let's start with SP8, since I failed that one. Pass mark was 62, so I was four marks off. 39% of people passed to this city, which means 61% are in the same boat as me, but I still don't feel great about it. <laughs> How about SA3? Pass mark was 65 for SA3. So I was over the pass mark by three marks. And it was actually a high pass rate, you know, 45% of people passed in this sitting. That's a lot higher than normal. I feel like I just want to go sulk. I should be happy that I've passed one. I am happy that I've passed one. I feel good about SA3. It's just, just the fact that I've got to go again. Four years, you know, four years since I started as a little graduate in my graduate job. And we're still going. At least it wasn't two fails. When people ask me about exams, at least I can give some positive news now. To be fair to me, I've never worked in pricing. SP8 is an exam on pricing. I've never worked in pricing, but I did study for it. I didn't study hard enough. I know I'm capable. Let me, let me read you some excerpts of the examiner's report. Here we go. Comments on candidate performance in this diet of the examination. Some candidates achieved high scores having demonstrated a good knowledge of the relevant subject material, but there was evidence that others found difficulty in applying this to the situations given. There were a variety of insurance lines tested and candidates may not have been familiar with some concepts like ILS. Candidates who failed to use specific information from the question to tailor their answers missed marks. Although only a few scripts had evidence of time trouble, some candidates presented answers of a length or detail that was not commensurate with the number of marks given. That sounds very much like my downfall. The good news for you guys is the study videos are going to continue for another few months. Yay! I will be resitting SP8 in September, under two and a half months time. So it is gonna creep up quickly. I will be taking some regular study days now in the lead up to those exams. It's just the one paper. It's just the one three hour paper. And I absolutely refuse to fail it again. I will qualify in December. It's not the best feeling to fail, but fails shape you as a human, you know? You learn from the fails, not from the passes. Thank you for watching anyway. Thank you for supporting as always and following along with my journey. The earliest I could actually officially qualify as a fellow would be spring next year anyway, because of the time required between becoming an associate and becoming a fellow, which I've discussed in previous videos. So this fail doesn't necessarily affect the official timeline of me becoming a qualified actuary if I manage to pass next sitting, but it just means it's a whole lot more work for me in the next few months. To any other student actuaries who open results today, I hope they went well for you. And if you got a fail like me, don't worry about it. We are more than our exam results and there is always the opportunity to reset. So don't sweat it, it happens. Don't let it spoil your summer. I am gonna go now and organize some dinner for myself and I will see you guys with another video soon. Also follow me over on Instagram and TikTok and my other socials. Give the video a like and Goodbye.